The New Power Start Part 2 Production and Combat in Forge of Empires A few hours after the end of the first episode of this series, we can collect the accumulated production and have some forge points in the bar at the top of the screen again. This allows us to complete the technology Construction, which fulfills the current task of the main quest series. We have already completed the subsequently required Conquest of Sector, so the next tasks are completed immediately. Then, in order to be able to recruit a spare fighter for the next task, we first must lose one. Therefore, we go to the province map again. Once again, we send eight spare fighters into the race. The fact that there are only six in this picture is the result of a wrong click, but six spare fighters are also enough, as you can see. Only the losses are a bit higher then. But this is not a problem with spare fighters, because they are healed and replaced within seconds. With this, we have conquered the province Feldranger, which allows us to place another city expansion. Although we still have one more province to conquer, we send the scout to explore the northern province as well. In the spare fighter barracks, we can now recruit the desired spare fighter and place the new expansion, always working towards a square layout of the city. Rake Silvertongue praises us for conquering Denisund, even though we just conquered Feldranger. Dunazund was the province before that. So we are quite a bit ahead of the quest line with our conquests, and it is recommended that we continue to do so, even in higher ages. As a reward, we receive a stone thrower. This is a Bronze Age artillery unit in this game. Next, our hunter should deliver a trophy. We have already fulfilled the second part of that quest, making the population enthusiastic. We cancel the ongoing production of the hunter and let him start a 5 minute production, the demanded trophy, instead. Sometime later, the requested trophy has long since been completed. While handing in the task, we see that from now on, we will always get another task besides the main quest line, a side quest. While it is mandatory to complete the main quest series task in order to progress in the game, you can cancel side quests if you don't like them. However, I recommend completing these tasks as often as possible, as the rewards usually contribute to faster progress. On the province map, the next province is called Tyre. We already know this. Eight spare fighters overrun the enemy in auto combat. This time, however, we start the manual fight instead, and then inside the battle, we immediately click on automatic combat. This allows us to watch the battle unfold. We see that it is very difficult for spare fighters to stand up to heavy units, in this case the opponent's warriors. Only our clear numerical superiority helps us to win. In addition, you should know that there is a rock-paper-scissors principle in Forge of Empires. Each Bronze Age unit has a unique strength against a specific type of the opponent's unit and a certain weakness against another type of unit. Our spare fighters are strong against horsemen, but weak against warriors. That's why we didn't look so good in this battle. So against the opponent's warriors, we should use a different military unit. 
we had gotten the stone thrower. This unit actually has a small bonus against the warriors and can reach them over a huge distance. But despite this new weapon, we don't look good in the results. We currently only have a single stone thrower and our spare fighters remain weak against the opponent's warriors. To improve this, we develop the slinger in the technology tree and build a slinger range. The construction time is one hour. In this time, we can build a pottery and more residential buildings. Our city should grow and produce a lot. In this context, we should also pay attention to the happiness. If this collapses, it halves the production. We want to avoid that. Unfortunately, we do not have enough supplies to build the first cultural building. Therefore, we build some decorations so that the happiness is given again for the time being. Then we use the added population for more potteries. After all, we want to get out of the supply bottleneck. The attentive player will notice that the main quest series offers a blueprint as a reward every now and then. At first, we only can collect these and use them when we have collected all nine blueprints. The main quest series now asks for the production of bananas. Where do we get bananas? This is one of the most common questions below my videos. In fact, we need a fruit farm to do this. However, it has to be researched first. That's why we don't make any progress in the main quest series for the time being. The side quest series eventually brings the task of having less than 10 available population. You could demolish obsolete residential buildings for this purpose. Instead, we simply build another pottery. We are left with three available citizens and thus the task is completed. When researching cultivation, we see that there is another symbol to the right of that technology. We had this before when we were researching spears. There we had gotten access to the map of the continents, also called province map. This time we get access to special events. The events take place about monthly in the game and I will demonstrate, in connection with the upcoming Forge Bowl event, how easy it is to complete all event tasks quickly even as a new player. Surely you have already noticed the icon in the upper right corner. It represents the ongoing winter event. The lock signaled that we didn't have access to it yet. With the technology cultivation, the event is unlocked for us. The current winter event is almost over. You like to take what you can get but on the penultimate day, you can't expect too much. If there's no event running, you won't see an icon. Please don't let this confuse you. These two episodes now have shown the period from morning to late evening of the first day in the game. How it went on the next day will then be shown in the third episode of this series.